let me make it very clear to you. There's no doubt that this language, Pakistan, is going to be Urdu and no other language. <laughs> From a newborn's first cry to the way they call out for their mother, it is communicated in a language that transcends borders. The way in which this communication takes place is not different from country to country, nor from religion to religion, but is basic and mutual to us all. It is an identity that has been fought for, a medium bound to share thoughts, love, hate and other feelings, something unique and authentic, different to each other yet so similar. It is our mother language. It unites, it bonds, it connects, it creates friendships to embrace all our differences. Has it ever occurred to you that you can clearly distinguish an Asian from a European at a glance? How, you may wonder. From their dress code to their sense of style, the roots of their cultural orientation are highlighted. Apart from all the roller coaster emotions that one feels, another strong element of one's identity is fashion. What we wear tells a story of who we are and the culture that we belong to. Children all around the world develop certain knacks. Playing in the rain, for instance, regardless of wealth or status. These little things make us think, act and feel like humans. Undoubtedly, each culture unfolds its own story, holds its uniqueness and mother language is a voice that narrates it. About 3,000 different mediums of languages could be found around the planet at present some being discontinued and endangered, while others being a common platform of communication around the globe, giving a sense of authenticity to each country or culture. Today, there is a growing awareness of the contribution of mother languages in preserving cultural and linguistic diversity, nurturing creativity and promoting multilingualism. As the importance of mother tongues cannot be stressed enough, the United Nations, at the initiative of a fellow South Asian nation, Bangladesh, has introduced the 21st of February as the International Mother Language Day to honour linguistic diversity and celebrate indigenous languages globally as they believe that it is the right of every human being to speak his or her native language. International Mother Language Day is an apt occasion to celebrate fraternity of languages and to remind that mother language is a bearer of respective cultural heritage. It's also about promoting a culture of peace, tolerance and non-violence, ensuring harmonious coexistence and fostering solidarity based on understanding and dialogue. The observance helps develop fuller understanding of these profound values and makes the world a better place. Why the 21st of February, one may question. This day also has genesis in Bangladesh with a tragic historic connection. On the 21st of February, Bangladesh commemorates its language martyrs who sacrificed 
their lives on this very day in 1952 to uphold their mother tongue, Bangla. This has now turned global as the International Mother Language Day. This day is usually celebrated with many colorful events featuring the state's leaderships, its educational system and children. Painting, musicals and creative writing are integral parts of the celebration since Bengalis are well known for their endowments in these areas. Thus, a tribute to playing the main role in re-initiating the International Day. Even in this year, 2021, despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the celebration stands aloft, celebrating one another and giving others the respect they deserve shouldn't be limited to celebrating physically. Instead, it should truly serve the purpose and be practiced within. This notion stands even more valid in today's context with everything that's going on, largely virtually. The day is therefore being celebrated digitally throughout the world abiding by pandemic-related health guidelines, making sure the day lives on through difficult situations. At the moment, we realize our similarities. Despite our differences, we stand stronger. And as Thomas Merton stated, we are already one, but we imagine that we are not. And what we have to recover is our original unity. What we have to be is what we are.